This will be a video tutorial on how to add a custom border in Microsoft Word. I will be using Office 365 on a desktop PC for this. Let me jump over to Word here. Okay, I have Word open now. This right here is what I will be creating. It's very easy to do. This is actually a transparent image that I have placed on my Word document here. Uh, the place that I got my image from, let me jump over to my browser here. This right here is where I downloaded my border image from, Pixabay. I have no affiliation with Pixabay other than you can find some pretty good uh, images on Pixabay. You could use uh, just a Google search for border images, but I use Pixabay. All I did, as you can see uh, over here, I am on all images. Make sure you're on all images. I just typed in border in the search area here, border, I'm going to hit enter, and you can come up with all kinds of uh, border images to use. Once you find one that you want, you just click on it, and as you can see, it's kind of all dotted. That means it's transparent, and that's what you actually want. Then you click on free download, and then you choose the size of your download, and you click on download. Or like I said, you could do a Google search to find one. But let me jump back over to Word and sh show you how to add the border image. Okay, to add a custom border to your Word document, first thing you want to do is go up to the Design tab. You want to click on the Design tab. Then on the ribbon, you want to go down to the far right to where it says Watermark and you want to click on watermark. Then you want to go down toward the bottom where it says custom watermark and choose custom watermark. Now in this little dialog box that opens up here, you want to select picture watermark. You want to toggle on picture watermark. And then I will uh, click on select picture the, the image that I want to use is on my uh, device here. I'm going to click on Select Picture. And then you want to choose, uh, do you want to download an image from here? You can download from a OneDrive. I'm going to click on From a File because I'm getting it off my device here. Now in the dialog box that opens up, you want to search for your image. My image is right here. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to click on insert. Now I'm going to uncheck where it says wash out here. I'm going to uncheck that because wash out will, uh, it'll really dim your image. I'm going to uncheck it. Then I'm going to click on apply. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close my little dialog box here. I'm going to click on close. And now I want to adjust my image here. I want to adjust my image to where it's on the outskirts of my document. What I'm going to do is double click in the head area of my document. I'm going to double click up here at the top. Now if I click on my image, you'll see these anchor points appear all around my image. And what you do is you drag those anchor points. When you put your mouse cursor over one of those anchor points, it turns into arrows. I'm going to drag upward, and you just have to kind of play around with it to get it to where you want it. I'm going to drag upward again. I'm going to drag out from the sides here. I'm going to drag down at the bottom here. You just kind of have to play around with it until you get it where you want it. That's about where I want it. Now I'm going to go up to the top here, but the ribbon I'm going to click on Close Header and Footer. I'm going to click on that. Now another thing you might want to do is you might want to adjust your margins. 
depending on what your, what your border image is, you probably want to adjust your margins because you don't want your text colliding with your uh, border image here. The way to do that, you want to go up to the Layout tab, click on Layout. Then on the far left side of the ribbon, you want to click on Margins. And this is another thing that you want to play around with just to get it to where you want it. I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to click on Custom Margins. And in the little dialog box that opens up here, you can adjust your margins however you would like. The top margin, you probably want your top margin and your bottom margin to be the same. And you want your left margin and your right margin to be the same. But uh, depending on what your border image is, you just have to play around with it and adjust it. That is how you add a custom border in Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching.